Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm about to do a current energy check-in for all signs. Um, starting with the Aries down to Pisces. So we're going to see what the messages are. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for all signs. On the energy of high vibration, high frequency, and high white light is welcome. No energy of low vibration, low frequency, or negativity is welcome. And I ask that you rebuke it in the name of you. Amen. Okay, Aries. That's the message for the Aries people. What does Aries need to know? Current energy checking for the Aries. Victim. <clears throat> Dis dissipating and per perseverance. So there's the energy here of... Um, Somebody playing the victim. But this is what they always do. Okay, this is what they always do. But if they're trying to persevere at it, instead of just being wise and asking for forgiveness, it's bittersweet because this person um, has passion for you, but they're also confused. So I do feel like they're isolating themselves because they don't feel good enough. Or this could be you. Okay? That's for somebody. Guild is in reverse. Okay. So whereas. <clears throat> I do feel like somebody's feeling guilty. I do feel like another person is not guilty. It does not feel guilty at all. It's the energy of. Growing and patient. And doing what you have to do. And moving accordingly. Okay. But I do feel like somebody's feeling guilty here. And they want to recover something when it comes to you. Or this is you. Somebody does want to grow, and they do want to service, bring in some type of service here. Something about guilt. Something about guilt. The will of fortune. Excuse me. Yeah, so there's two energies. Somebody's feeling guilty and somebody's not. And I feel like this is something to do with a destiny or a shift that took place. Or an ending that, that happened that caused a shift after a long time coming. So if you're not feeling guilty, it's because you gave all that you could. You did the right thing. You moved through this accordingly the way that you should. You treated people how you wanted to be treated. So you gave your best. So the fact that it ended, that doesn't make you feel bad because you did what you were supposed to do. You gave it your best shot. Okay, but there is energies who were not as honest. Okay. And I do feel like those energies are having anxiety about this ending, about this shift that took place. Is something shocking happen when it comes to a shift? We got the Empress, the Queen of Wands, and the Six. Yeah, somebody could have had two women here or were given the two. And this is why destiny situation has come to an end or somebody left one woman out in the cold for the other. Thinking that it'll be victorious with the six of pentacles, but now, I mean the six of wands, but now they're in this two of pentacles energy where they're trying to get a grip here because there's something happened that they didn't see coming. It could have been, somebody could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, heavy on the Taurus. We got Sagittarius. Wait a minute, what's that? Yeah, Sagittarius. Heavy Taurus. Six of Pentacles. I want to know. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. To the King of Cups. Judgment, Eight of Cups, Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody made a decision to walk away from a twin flame. That's why the Empress is in here for um, a possible long term situation or a marriage. Somebody they had been dealing with for a while. Somebody that they possibly, yeah, 
if, even though it was toxic and give this person anxiety, this person was still determined to move towards it. Or maybe it had it was possibly toxic, but they didn't get anxiety yet. I feel like the anxiety came in when they realized it was a bad move. It was a betrayal. <clears throat> Somebody could have deceived the Queen of Cups here for the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles for the Queen of Cups, whatever. The King of Cups is coming out right here, so I say that. King of Cups and Queen of Cups share a love, but somebody didn't give their love to the right person. Somebody decided to walk away from a twin flame and offer their love to somebody that they've been knowing for a long time. They wanted to recover a situation instead of expanding something new. And I felt like that was a bad move. Tell me about recovery. Yeah. Somebody definitely could have been dealing with a Capricorn, but the recovery was toxic. Yeah, could have been Capricorn with this Queen of Pentacles and look, the Queen of Cups is reversed. Somebody definitely did not want the Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign. Could be an Aries, could be anybody, okay? But somebody didn't want the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Even though this is who they was in the lover's connection with. They did not want to close a cycle. They did not want to complete a cycle. They were determined to put the work in with this Queen of Pentacles. Not knowing all the facts. Now they're sitting here trying to recoup their balance, recoup their energy. Devil. Now we got the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. <clears throat> now this person's well, ended up with a bunch of burdens that they was holding, that they're holding, because they was determined to manifest something toxic, based maybe based upon the passion that, that was experienced here. This could have been a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but the facts come out, and now they realize Seven of Swords, the connection is not as honest and worth holding on to as they thought. And they should have went with the expansion. They should have went with the twin flame. Yep. They shouldn't have been, instead of holding on to shit, they should have been, look at that. I can't make this shit up. Instead of holding on too tight for pinnacles, they should have been moving on with the chariot because that's where they would have grown. That's where they would have expanded. That's where things would have took place for them. And not here. They ended up in a fucked up, sticky ass situation because they didn't listen to their intuition. Because they didn't take charge and reconcile a twin flame situation. Instead, they decided to walk away from the twin flame situation. And now they're sitting here stressing the fuck out because it was a wrong move. It was the wrong fucking move. It ain't no growth and expansion in staying in the karmic situation. Mm -hmm. Now they're feeling sorry. Look at that. Feeling sorry that they ever walked away from the twin flame to begin with. Hurt and feeling sorry. Living in regrets. That's the motherfucking guilty one right there. Something about service. Yeah, now this person wanting to come to you and tell you some type of truth about how they become single or they trying to see if you single before they speak something to you. Nine of Wands energy. <clears throat> yeah, but I do want to fit I do feel like they want to tell you about this bad decision that they made to invest with the Queen of Pentacles. They want to tell you what they didn't see and what happened after the fact. It's a lot this person wants to express. I feel like they went through a lot trying to hold on to some shit. Talking about the Nine of Wands, yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yep, their decision. Look at that. The five of wands. See, look, they made that could, and the person could have been an op. Look, they go within to see some shit. Now three of pentacles. Now they don't no longer want to work with a motherfucker. What they see, it's the whole op to your whole twin flame, and you thinking I love them. Tell about the judgment. Ace of pentacles. Seven of Wands. So see, somebody, I feel like this person, <clears throat> it was something like, oh, I don't want to let go of what I built, so I'm going to go backwards. And then I realized, damn, this person just trying to keep me away from a twin flame. This person is really just the op. Five of Wands. This person is really just opposing, trying to deceive me. So then this person goes, that's how they That's how they realize, and then they get the message, boom. And they full-fledged go to defend this beginning. So I do feel like they walked out on you, but they now defend in the beginning. You might not be able to know that this is happening, but I do feel like this person is defending. They're defending something. Now that they can see the truth, yeah. Now that they can see the truth, they moving in the common waters away from their seven of swords. Feeling like they don't want to miss out on the opportunity. Having anxiety and stress the fuck out because they should have took charge of the opposite thing. Because of what they even happened to take charge of because they didn't pay attention or they missed a sign somewhere. Yeah, this person, the op is getting cut out. That's what it looked like. So this person go from not wanting to let her go or him go to cutting them cl clean the fuck out because they realize it's a opposer, somebody competing. So they retreat, get the fuck out of there. They pause for, to reflect and then they take some type of leap of faith. 
out of out of spirituality, out of faith, out of yeah. And there's the King of Pentacles now. Definitely could have been the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's the disappointed King of Pentacles right there, because he should have invested in his wish fulfillment, and instead he ended up in a disaster and a connection that he was just trying to heal. That sent his ass within big time on who he working with. He need to pay attention to who's flighty, who's trying to get what they want and leave, and who really wants some shit with him. Damn. I mean, that was straight to the point. I feel like other aspects of people's charts be starting to kick in, and then you have to start figuring out where the fuck you at. Cause it was a lot of other signs besides fire. Y'all was there, but I mean, this could have mainly been leading to a king of wands. Or a queen, hell, I don't know. Could have been to the cross watcher. I don't really know. Energy do what it want to do. You see what I'm saying? I just put the message out there, the scenario of what's happening. And if that's your story, then you know it's your story. It don't matter which side of the story you sit on. I ain't trying to point the, bl point the finger or blame nobody. I'm just saying that's what happened. I don't know who did what. Unless it was a person to read. Now, then we'd be on a different topic. But right now, we're on the general signs, okay? And we're moving right along to the Taurus people. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What's the messages for the Taurus people? Current energy check-in for Taurus. What does Taurus people need to know at this time? What's the current energy for the Taurus people? Okay, impatience, growth, completion. I don't know why it's, the, it's giving. It's giving. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aries. <clears throat> On the bottom, we got dissipate. This is a. Excuse me, I haven't spit. Sorry. Uh, dissipating. This is doing the same old shit and thinking you would get a, di a different result. But basically, insanity. So then, trickery. See, somebody could want to keep doing the same old shit. Some type of trickery, and then they got their ass released. Now, this is not giving Aries, but it's giving the Aries wanted to hold on to the person doing the trickery. trickery. So, you ain't got to be. Now, for some of y'all, this is somebody constantly playing games and bullshitting. So, you release their ass. And it helps them change their perspective. Why? Because you grew impatient with somebody. You grow impatient with them. You grow impatient with their growth. You grow impatient with some type of completion of a, of a, of a um, cycle that needed to take place. What we got for Taurus? Yeah. Victim. Impartiality. You got motherfucker tired of a motherfucker treading the fence. Playing both sides. Yeah, especially when you got made aware of something. Somebody played victim a lot. But they play games in in the real yeah. There it is. Trickery with dissip dissip uh, dissipating. It's coming out. This is this person's perspective. Let me keep playing games and even though it ain't getting me nowhere, I'm going to keep doing it. Like, thinking it's going to get a different result. Well, let me play games one more time and maybe the... No, motherfucker. This is somebody who likes to play victim when they impartial. <clears throat> I feel like they don't show that they're impartial. They don't act impartial. But I feel like they're impartial. And then when they get found out, they try to sit there and play victim. Like, oh, no, that, oh, that's not... That's not... You know how people get. Tell me about this victim energy. But somebody's fed up here, dealing with a victim, dealing with somebody who's playing games, dealing with somebody who's half in and half out, dealing with somebody who don't even know what the fuck they're doing or who the fuck they are, okay? Tell me about victim for the Taurus people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six of Pentacles. See, that's why I said, mm. could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Could be a Cancer. You're moving on from somebody. You just want doing something fresh, something new, okay? Something in alignment with you. You've taken this as a lesson or you've chalked it up as one because somebody's toxic here and they like to play the victim with this devil energy. I feel like this is somebody that you could have been given energy to with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody maybe that you feel like you were destined to be around or destined to be uh, a part of their life or maybe y'all have a destiny, okay? It's something about destined, okay? 
so I get it on more. Oh. This could have been somebody that you've now blocked or you feel guided or pulled towards. But then, <clears throat> devil. I just feel like they wasn't, it was, they wasn't cracked up to be nothing. The king of swords, I mean the king of wands. This could be a Leo Sagittarius or Aquarius that you're dealing with, moving that move towards you. Excuse me. Yeah, somebody, I do feel like somebody took charge and offered up a cup of love, but I don't feel like it was the love you was desiring. I feel like it was love, but it was also uh, iced over with some victim mentality and some impartiality and some trickster. I do feel like somebody took charge because they want to get on the same page here and they wanted to bring healing into the connection. And this could be somebody who's, who's taking charge and offering you love after having toxicity and being playing victim. Possibly this person that went through some healing here. This could have been somebody that you've had blocked for a while, but I do feel like it was some destined interaction that happened between you and this person. I don't feel like they are offering you love at this time. If they are, this is what they did to you in the past, but you still don't trust them. You don't trust them, they love, or no healing with their ass. It could be an Aquarius, but this person was somebody who constantly played victim, constantly played victim, constantly being impartial, constantly playing games, and then they finally maybe heal a little bit, and they come back, and you still don't take them serious. Even if they did heal, you just, no, it was too much. Impartiality, yeah. The emperor. Definitely could be an Aries that somebody's dealing with. We got Leo as well. Somebody could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like somebody was waiting on clarity. Waiting on somebody to figure it out. Waiting on somebody to balance out their heart and their their heart and their head. But they could have been out in the cold while they were waiting. Somebody was waiting to hear from this emperor. Waiting to hear some type of truth. Some type of clarity. Some type of clear message. Some type of answer. Some type of enlightenment. But nobody got nothing if the if the emperor is sitting here needing healing and playing victim. But I do feel like he got those answers now. Yeah, this is somebody who was in a dark place because they were still disappointed about past energy. But the sun has then since shown on this person to let them know that they're sabotaging situations. So they received enlightenment. I do feel like they have the enlightenment or they've been... Maybe they didn't see it with the moon energy because they was in a dark place, but I do feel like they got it and they're ready to give it to you now. See, but now you with this energy of I'm good on my own and feeling trapped about any type of investment or exchange of energy when it comes to this person. But I do feel like you're going to receive the enlightenment. I feel like they're still going to come and tell you a message or this is you. Tell about enlightenment. Going to give the message. Hyper front that's Taurus energy. You definitely could be going. Somebody's coming to make you aware. Is some are you going to make somebody aware that some shit has come to an end here? Your player ways, your in and out, your nine committal. You ready to commit with this hot tower for horrified energy? Somebody wants to find a balance and a connection, and they want it to be something solid, something long. They want longevity in there. Somebody's telling you that they bullshit ways is coming to an end, and they're ready to commit, and basically. That they've completed some type of cycle. Okay, or this is you. Leaping towards somebody. That's exactly what's happening. Offering them something solid. A commitment. Telling them it will be longevity. You can't depend on me. This is you moving towards somebody or somebody moving towards you. And it could be you. But somebody's saying they want to show up. And they want to be committed to this. This is somebody being strong and courageous. And, and wanting to work together. And this is the other person not being so sure about it. Could be a Leo, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell them about the trickery. Yeah, that's why they that's why the person the first thing they make you aware of is, oh, I put my player ways to the end because you're just somebody's not somebody feel like oh you just want to reconcile so you can get some. Get some. Somebody don't trust it. They feel like it's a trick. Okay, but I do feel like in some cases, people are being absolutely honest. They want to bring you out the code or they want y'all to come out the code. They want a transformation to take place. They are offering you love so that y'all can be victorious so that healing can take place. 
King of Swords. The King of Swords, he acts based upon the facts. He's speaking facts. And that's what you're concerned about. You're concerned. You're concerned if this um, air sign, earth sign, or Leo is telling the truth about what they're saying, about what they bring into the table. It catches you by surprise, but it still puts you in a uh, scared, kind of scared, kind of scared energy. Because you don't know if you could trust this person. You don't know if they mean what they say or they standing on that. And what you don't want to do is keep finding yourself in the same old situation with dissipating. So I do feel like this person is going to have to bear with you or give you some time. Or this is what you're going to have to do for somebody else. Because somebody definitely feel like they received a lesson out of the situation. But they don't know if their blessing and their lesson is going to be in the same place. They don't know if you're telling the truth. Or is this going to end up back in another lesson. And what they don't want to do is make a decision that repeats the past. Okay. Somebody here. That's why I said this was hard on them walking away and putting these burdens down. Could have been a uh, um, fire sign woman, Leo Sagittarius or Aries. But somebody had a hard time dealing with this. And they don't want... They, I, don't, I don't feel like they don't not... It's like, oh, I don't want to come back at all. I don't feel like it's that. I just feel like they don't want to come back to the same old shit. Will somebody try to wrap... It's, it's bullshit, but you wrapped it up in a bow and make it look pretty. That's what they're afraid of. But I feel like uh, time is going to give the clarity. So if this person wants you that bad, they'll be willing to wait on you and work through all that with you. Or you them. But shit, if not, then shit, they don't have to go find somebody else. And get somebody else to do it. Gemini people. Current energy check in for the Gemini people. What does the Gemini people need to know? Current energy check in for the Gemini people. What do the Gemini people need to know? At this time, spirit. Complacency, forgiveness, guilt, discovery, balance. So it could be a, it's the energy here. I don't know who to pinpoint it on just yet. Hold on. And I still might not, but I'm going to give you what's going on. It's the energy here who has discovered something. They discovered something. I feel like it brings a shock. Like, look how that person's like, what do you mean? <laughs> like... This, this person is discovering something here. And whatever's being discovered, it's, a, it's, it's in order for balance to take place and some type of renewal for this person to become grateful. But um, I do feel like they're going to, whatever they discover will make them feel guilty. It will make them uh, feel, put in, uh, feel like they're in a place of needing or wanting forgiveness. Um because whatever is discovered is going to let this person know that they're in a, they're somewhere they don't belong. And there's some type of quest that they're supposed to be barking upon. There's some type of journey or path that somebody's supposed to be taking. But instead, they're somewhere don't, they don't belong here. But it's like somebody not, they know, they think they know something and then they don't know it. But then they discover it and then they start feeling guilty about what they thought they knew and wanting forgiveness. That's when they realize they're in the wrong place and they got somewhere to be. Okay, so let's see what we got for the Gemini people. Joy. Okay, something about being happy here. 
but insecurity kicks in here in abundance. I feel like it's a joy, abundance, then insecurity. So there's some type of abundance here that somebody should be should be happy about. And that's the energy right there. This is why somebody is going through this because they're it's, it's making them more grateful, making them more appreciative. But I feel like this person could would be appreciative and happy about their abundance, but they're too busy and insecure. They, there's some type of insecurity taking place when it comes to their heart space. And this is how they haven't been able to be as grateful as they should. But I do feel like once they discover whatever this is, it's going to bring wisdom into the picture. And it's going to help this person to move different, to decide different, to see things different. Tell me about joy here. Why is this here for the Gemini people? Excuse me. Tell me about joy. Tell me about joy for Gemini. There's that clarity. Look, there's them downloads. There's that clarity, the truth. The messages that you that I'm talking about that helps you to discover or your person whoever's in the energy somebody around you or you there's the truthful messages that come in we'll look for it in reverse something's not finished something's the wrong direction wrong place something is not aligned here and if the truth see that clarity comes in and it takes this person within that's so that's what they need that's what they need they receive some type of truth here with the knight of swords energy it's something to do with insecurities. And it could be you, Gemini, with this King of Swords energy. They receive clarity that helps them to move forward, to help them to conquer, help them to be victorious when it comes to a quest, the path, the destiny that they're supposed to be barking upon. Because right now there is no destiny, there is no alignment in destiny, or something's just not finished or not going according to plan, according to destiny. Okay, but then they receive this clarity with the Ace of Swords energy. Something about the Ace of Swords. And it says I'm straight in hermit mode. They receive the clarity, but that also brings anxiety. The nine of swords and the ace of swords is a ten. It helps a completion take place here. Send somebody into the hanging man. A, 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 a new perspective. Sends them into um, hermit. This is where they go. They go into hermit and it helps them to reflect, to be enlightened, to pause on another perspective that, that can help them out, that can better assist or serve them when it comes to some type of emotions or children here okay when it comes to some type of faith when it comes to some type of lack mentality when it comes to some type of hurt or pain that needs to be transformed in order for this person to reach out or feel like they deserve or um have earned or are worthy of this abundance okay talking about abundance somebody could be dealing with a capricorn but i do feel like this is a lot to do with fear here Fear of past disappointment. Fear of being let down. Fear of the same old thing. So they're not happy about the abundance because they're too insecure about something going wrong here. Too afraid. So it's, so the, because this person is so afraid, it keeps them held back here with this Four of Pentacles energy from standing up and defending the emotions that they truly have when it comes to the situation. I do feel like this person deep down inside really want to work on a commitment but they they hold back because they insecure they want to move towards you and offer you something small but solid but they too scared to do it this connection scares the fuck out of them so this person could have ran away or you walked away something's going on something about this insecurity yeah this person won't offer you love until they cut out these insecurities tell me more about insecurities six of pentacles yeah, somebody's got to worth it. Realize that they're worth receiving and giving equally. Somebody's got to make choices, movements, and decisions to cut something out. The insecurities, Queen of Queen of Swords. Yeah, because the insecurities are nothing but burdens holding you back from receiving the love, the love and abundance that you truly want, desire, and deserve. Okay. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Sagittarius. But I do feel like somebody wants to balance out this love that they're feeling. They want to send messages and say, hey, I love you. And I feel like as soon as they overcome these insecurities, they will. The insecurities will be replaced with uh, knowledge, wisdom, okay? Which I feel like this person still don't have at this time or they're still working on. They're still working on wrapping their mind around it. Or they was confused. Somebody could have been being confused by somebody codependent. 
What's this nine of pentacles reverse? King of Wands, Judgment, Page of Swords. I feel like this, this could also just be the Eight of Pentacles as well. Because I don't feel like a codependent energy is here. That's not what I feel. But I do feel like with this Five of Wands to the, seven, the Nine of Pentacles reverse equaling the Eight as well sometimes. Not, a reversal can also mean the number down. Okay? So Eight of Pentacles. That's what we're rolling with. Because that's what it feels energetically. And it feels like somebody was fighting. Putting work into a situation because they didn't have the wisdom. Because they was confused. They was in an illusion. But they got the clarity now. Yeah, they was mentally conflicted because they didn't know. But a new perspective comes in and helps them to make a decision where they take charge of a situation. Yeah, take charge of their intuition. Take charge of the unknown. Take charge of going offering something solid to this empress that they thought about over and over and over. Moving in the karma waters away from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Virgo Gemini. Okay. But I do feel like this person is, I don't know. I feel like they're going, they're moving right along. I feel like they're getting, overcoming these insecurities. Okay. But I don't feel like it's up. They do. They. I feel like at first it hinders them, but then they receive some type of clarity, some type of enlightenment. Because I, I feel like they may even, the person might even step away because if you aren't being grateful and enjoy because of your abundance or your blessings, then you're not really appreciating them. If you're not being grateful, then you're being ungrateful. And the motherfucker's not about to sit around and not be appreciated. That's just not what's going to happen in anybody's life. I mean, they will at some point. At some point, people will get tired and put their foot down. And adios amigos. Chuck the bitches on your ass like Chris Brown. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm about to take a pause break. I can feel my sides starting to tighten up. All right, hold on, y'all. Excuse me. Okay. Current energy check in for the cancer people. What message do we have for the cancer people? Current energy check in for the cancer people. What's the message? Current energy check in for cancer. What's the message? Impartiality, dissipating, quest. It's like Gemini had this a little bit, but so did, um, no, it was Gemini, wasn't it? I, think, I don't know. It could have been Gemini, could have been Taurus. I don't know who it was, but somebody's got some, it's like a place or a quest or a journey. But some somebody's needing to use faith when they need to, when they uh, conquer this or they go this way, but they're impartial. It's some type of impartiality here when it comes to a quest, and somebody keep doing the same thing, thinking that they're gonna get a different result, and the answer that they need to use or the key that they need to use to open the door is faith. Okay, so what we got for Cancer? Discovery. Yeah, they're gonna figure it out. Insecurity. Gemini definitely had that energy. Miracle. I do feel like there's going to be some type of miraculous renewal. Well, it's going to be appearing miraculous to you. Because you never seen... you. you as far as you was concerned, this person was always too insecure or too um, religious, <laughs> is what I'm hearing, to have this kind of faith in order to renew this kind of situation with you. But I do feel like some, yeah, somebody wants to create with you and they're very happy that they can create with you or that you're the one they're creating with, but they just don't feel good enough here and they're afraid of rejection or they don't feel good enough due to some type of rejection and it's been putting some type of trickery over their perspective and they've been finding their place, their self in a place where they don't belong, which is insecure. I do feel like somebody's trying to perfect this here. They're trying to release it here. Because it's just been a bunch of confusion. And I do feel like this person received a message through their instinct. Or some type of balance is being stored when it comes to somebody's self-worth. Okay. Discovery. Why is this here? For cancer people.
Somehow, discovery. Yeah, because something happened. Some type of shift. Some type of shake-up. Some type of aha moment. Revelation that brought in a new perspective here. When it came to a contract, a partnership, or working together. Or people you work with. People at work. Something about work. Page of Swords. So somebody was too afraid to make a decision to commit and take charge. They was too afraid and keep constantly looking at past disappointments in order to make a decision. But then this is why they was so non-committal, so in and out, so flighty. And this is what I feel like somebody was made aware of. And not only that, they was made aware of that this person don't want to miss out on you, but they insecure. They're too insecure. This is where the enlightenment come in. And they're showing up based upon past disappointment that happened to them. And I do feel like you fell for this person, but what are you to do? There it is. The emperor. Now, this is somebody who can't, could be a Taurus. I mean, could be an Aries. Could be a uh, Scorpio. Could be a Taurus. But what are you to do? Okay? This person needs to take charge of their own past disappointment. Of course, they don't want to miss out on you. But it's up for them to go through the transformation. It's up to them to have some faith with this full energy. Okay? What can you do about the next person's insecurities? Nothing at all. Okay? So, devil. I mean, death card. And yeah, I feel like this person went through some type of transformation. Due to a judgment call being made. If they didn't choose to do this on their own, then they did it because of judgment. And it sent them right into the hangman energy. So that they can see things from another perspective. So that they can become enlightened. So that they can understand or pick up some type of key information here. Insecurity. Yeah. That's the only way. Yeah, a motherfucker walks away from a solid brand new. From a solid brand new beginning. As if they hurt. And they still need to get in the calm waters from that hurt. This is why they got insecurities because of somebody hurting them. And they need to walk away from that emotionally because it's not serving them when it comes to reaching out for this brand new beginning. I do feel like they're completing it, but it's kind of treacherous for them. I want to say mentally it's a little bit tormenting. Cause it's going slow like well it's not really slow but it seems like they're just creeping up like eight nine and the ten still has to come yeah but the three of wands is down there so it could be happening slowly here you could be dealing with a libra of course gemini somebody's taking charge of it but i feel like it's a process because it's not as easy but we all know healing ain't that easy but i do feel like they're taking charge of it and they're going through the motions which they start off as fear Right, then they go to anxiety and then ten of swords, and then they might be fear anxiety together, but then it ends right. And then next thing you know, somebody's taking charge of a situation. Next thing you know, there's a miracle happening. Talking about the miracle. Knight of Swords. Next thing you know, somebody's rushing up in here with some honest, truthful communication and some love to offer you. The same person that was too insecure to stand next to you and feel good enough now wants to put the work in. This person say they might have been confused about a lot of things, but they ain't confused about the passion that they feel with you. But I do feel like whatever the confusion was, they received clarity with this justice card information. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. I'm going to put that back in reverse. See, we got the Empress here. And then we got the King of Cups. This is somebody trying to come in and balance out a love situation. That they want healing to take place in. They feel like it's, it needs to come to a balance here. And I do feel like this person may have been at a crossroad. Or, or they didn't. They Two of swords reverse. Somebody could have not followed their intuition when it came to a karmic situation. Which is another reason why it's a miracle here. 
Yeah, somebody definitely was maybe trying to reconcile or deal with a karmic energy. But I feel like it's a miracle they got out just in the nick of time. It could have been a karmic energy trying to reconcile with this person. While they still was trying to put the burdens down. This person trying to come in and uh, love bomb so that they don't. <laughs> Excuse me. So that they don't put the burdens down. So that they don't heal from their insecurities. But I do feel like that they, they, this person has gone through some type of renewal in some way, shape, or form. And the renewal brings in the faith that they needed to help them conquer this. Without faith, they wasn't going to be able to do it. Tell me about renewal. Five of Wands. Yeah, some type of argument or fight or disagreement, conflict, chaos that took place in a twin frame situation. Three of Wands. I feel like it's a it's, 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 it's a trust the process kind of situation. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. But some type of cycles come to a complete here. Ten of Pentacles to the world. King of Cups. Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Is this somebody trying to show up in a new energy now that they've got their wits about them, I'll say. But I feel like they was trying to gain... Uh, recup, re rebalance, refocus themselves after some type of uh, something took place in their life. But I feel like they're finally completing it, or they will be by the time they come to you with this faith, because faith is what is going to encourage them to take a leap of faith. Faith, faith is what is going to encourage them to be strong and confident enough to come your way, or this is you going somebody's way. Chariot. Yeah, faith is going to what's help this person overcome here with this chariot energy. Temperance. That's universal assistance and balance here. But the hermit says this person got to some type of spiritual upgrade or spiritual knowledge or spiritual lesson. They received the underlying truth here to help them defend themselves from some type of confusing. Some type of deceit, some type of lie. Somebody definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn. We got Leo, we got Aquarius. Somebody wants somebody to leave their wish fulfillment out in the cold. But they didn't expect you to become confident enough to reach out and get this. Somebody's looking back over how far they came, over the truths that were hidden, underlying. Somebody's being victorious over a, a tradition, over a religion, over a foundation, over a cycle that was constantly repetitive but needed to be broken. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune. Some type of cycle that needed to be broken. Five of Wands, but it was a a mentally conflicting one it's just like don't really lead you down the right path and somebody had to have the courage in order to follow the intuition and do things based on faith and sight and what you was told or how grandma brought you up somebody's gonna branch off in, in at least almost every family i believe at least one out of each family to do it probably more but at least one sure Four, four, Leo energy. What about for the Leos? Four, four, four is about protection. Being divinely guided, spiritually protected. What about for the Leos? Energy check in. 
return energy check-in for Leo people. What's the message? Disbarness, discovery, perspective, perfection. I know that says perfection, but I'm getting perspective. perspective. Yeah, perception. There it is right there. That's what I was getting. This is perfection. Somebody's about to release some type of confusion or insecurity that don't even belong to them. It's been projected onto them. You've been praying and I feel like you're about to discover who's been projecting this energy on you that makes you feel not good enough. Who makes you feel like you need to protect your, perfect your life. Okay, that's what I'm getting here energetically. Somebody's perfect, per, uh, projecting energy onto you so that you don't feel good enough, so that you don't feel, um, I don't know, so that you feel, I don't know, whatever it is you're discovering, it helps you to bring balance into your life. Despondence, they don't want you to feel good enough, like you worth anything. They want you to feel bad and grief and sad. Like you don't want to get up out the bed in the morning. Yeah, I do feel like your ancestors are here with the miracle card coming out. And your your ancestors are growing pretty impatient with this bullshit that somebody's doing to you. Okay? I feel like all you do is been working and following your intuition. Trying to get some wisdom in isolation. And the motherfuckers gossiping and talking shit behind your back. Or gossiping and talking shit about you. And all you trying to do is come into balance here. But something's going to, you're going to discover something. And I do feel like it might make you sad, though. But I feel like it's happening because it's supposed to. Tell me about balance here for the Leo people. Something's, something's going to balance out for you and everybody around you is going to be upset about it. King of Wands. This could be a Leo masculine. King of Cups. Could be when it comes to a love situation. But do you see how this person's holding the justice back there and everybody around got their arm crossed and they pouting and they upset? Somebody's going to be upset about some type of justice you receive. Somebody's going to be upset about some type of balance that happens in your life. Yeah, the universe 444 four, four was when I started your time stamp. 4445, four, four, but the first three is a four, okay? So something's going to be balanced out here in your love life. Or some type of justice is going to go in your favor when it comes to an investment in the love situation with an empress here. Some type of emotions are being restored here. And people are not going to be happy about it. Just, I think you should keep it on the hush-hush here. Yeah, keep it hush because you're about to see the fruits of your labor come to, to um, fruition here. Something to do with this emperor, something to do with new beginnings, something to do with abundance and prosperity, something to do with burdens going down because you're following your intuition and to keep it hush, hush. Why? Because people that know or just feel it are automatically already mad at you and you don't need no extra attention, okay? Discovery. So keep your blessings on the hush, move in silence. Don't tell people a fuck ass thing. You hear what I'm saying? Somebody could be finding out something about somebody. Or somebody's finding out something about you. Okay, this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio woman that you're finding out something about. It could be a Sagittarius. And then we got Leo. But somebody's definitely discovering something, being made aware of something here. Um, what's being made aware of with the sun? Something toxic. Could be a Capricorn. Could be an Aquarius. Something. Something. Trying to strengthen somebody, something trying to hold you back, or that's what you about to find out. Somebody sending you negativity or something like that. You about to find out the truth about somebody. Something about this Queen of Cups. Yeah. Um. From judgment. The Fool, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven. This could be a mother figure with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Somebody took a, a leap of faith here. And I feel like it's going to go bad with the Seven of Swords. It's going to be something to do with your family here or something. It's something being regretted when it comes to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a mother figure. Heavy on the Scorpio with this Tower energy out here. But I do feel like this is 
This could be somebody that you have blocked or they blocked you or somebody, I don't know, somebody could be coming homeless about you or somebody's becoming homeless about somebody. It's like a, a sudden revelation that brings out the truth for you. What is this Ace of Swords? Six of Cups reverse. Ten of Swords. Something. The Eight of Pentacles reverse. The Six of Cups reverse. And the Ten of Swords. It's like shit just goes. It's, somebody could be losing their job here. Queen of Wands. Somebody could be moving or relocating. And this is why they're leaving their job behind. What's the Ten of Swords? The Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's leaving the past behind. Or somebody's stressing here. Or trying to protect their abundance. Or they're afraid that they're not going to have enough here. Because they lost their job or something like that. I don't know. But I feel like you're going to find out the truth about somebody who's been projecting energy onto you. Somebody's losing their job. I do feel like whatever happens is supposed to happen with this Wheel of Fortune, but I do feel like you're going to be victorious over it. You will have the, the high ground to stand up and defend your position, but it will shock the fuck off you and, and out of you and knock you out of balance for a second, okay? Just for a quick second. Tell me about this guilt energy. Grief, I mean. Excuse me. It's going to be with grief here about a decision that somebody made. Or a decision that you made when it comes to a Gemini, Pisces, or a Taurus. Because there's going to be a new perspective is introduced after the decision is made, though. Yeah, somebody's going to make a decision here when it comes to a commitment. Somebody has made a decision about a commitment, and because of that, they are in grief. Because they thought it was a good idea until they got a new perspective. After they made this decision, they got a new perspective about how bad of an idea that was. And now this person's trying to get in the karma waters. Five and the ace is the six. They're trying to get on the karma. Get, ooh, thought I could lean on something over there. <laughs> They're trying to get in the karma waters because they've been reflecting and they understand. They're starting to understand. That it's about taking charge of something they're passionate about or some type of destiny that they're supposed to be going towards. Somebody could have been focused on the wrong thing and this is how they didn't see the love that was being offered to them by the universe. But I do feel like somebody doesn't want to miss out. They feel, they feel like they're going to, it's going to take a miracle for somebody. Okay. Or so it's reversed because the motherfucker don't want nothing to do with this love situation. Especially after they feel like they, yeah, five of cups. It's too much grief, too much disappointment. It's definitely somebody projecting energy on you, want you to be sad and disappointed so you don't get half shit or do shit or feel good about shit. There's some grief here. There's somebody that's like not trying to fuck with this. Somebody don't want to be bothered with this. They retreated. They moved the fuck on out the way when it comes to whatever this love situation is. But somebody else is in regret here that they ever let you get away with this eight of cups, five, five of cups energy. So uh, they're trying to come in and figure out what kind of miracle they can make happen. And they don't know with the moon energy. They're waiting on the sign here. You don't want to be bothered with this. Or this is how somebody's feeling about you. Flip it around. Cross watcher if you know. If I got it wrong. Three of pentacles. To the seven of cups. Somebody's not sure what to do with this. But I do feel like they got options. And they are attractive. And motherfuckers is looking. And I do feel like the re they're just not really looking at this because they looking back at the time that they've already invested in the lessons that they've learned in patience. Somebody's looking back on the situation and realize that they haven't learned shit but lessons. And they're growing very impatient with the situation. Some changes gonna need to happen and they're gonna need to happen now. Our motherfucker's about to be storming the fuck out the door. 
This could be a relationship that somebody decided to reconcile. Could be a marriage that somebody decided to reconcile. But now they're moving, wanting to move away. Yep, King and Queen of Pentacles, Justice to the Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely a marriage for somebody. Somebody you see is it, drama and trying to move away from it. The King of Pentacles look like he over here trying to get into calmer waters because he's feeling hurt about some type of love he didn't offer to some type of apology or he's feeling there is so it. Somebody's feeling hurt here about yeah. Where they off with their pentacle. Because they remember somebody made the decision and they're in grief about it. Because you make the decision, then you receive the messages. But once you receive the messages, you want to cut this out and close it out. But the decision was already made. But somebody can still back out. It ain't too late. Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody's dealing with somebody who's selfish and dark. Insecure. Yeah, this person needs some transforming. Yeah, this person could be bitter and mean and cold. Now somebody's feeling in regret because it's a whole bunch of drama where it's supposed to be happiness. But this person's gonna make a decision to move away from it. But I feel like this this wasn't this person wasn't supposed to move towards this person in the first place. But karmic energy with the queen of wands reverse somebody was moving towards a karmic cycle maybe this is what they was used to what stroked their ego what made them comfortable whatever the case okay so they went towards that time you realize it, I already be too late. Alright, that's what somebody wanted for you. By the time the truth comes out or by the time you realize what the truth is, it would already be too late for you. I don't know what that's about. But that's for somebody. <laughs> Okay, Virgo people. Current energy check in for the Virgo people. What's the message for the Virgo people? Current energy check in. Excuse me, for Virgo people. What's the message? Check in for the Virgo people. What's the message? Okay. Instinct. Renewal. Mysticism. So there's something that you're being, something about you, something in your intuition about a renewal here. 
But I feel like it might make you nervous because it's too mysterious, too unknown. Perfection, prayer. So you've been praying about something, some type of perfection and a destiny here or some type of release. You could have been praying to release a destiny and you're growing impatient. But you, but you, something about faith and abundance, grief and facade. Somebody's preferring to live a facade here. And it's due to their perspective needing recovery. Huh. What's going on with the Virgo people spirit? There it is. First card out, facade. This is about living bullshit. Soulmate. So somebody has, somebody wants to live a facade with a soulmate. Or gossip or miracle. What's going on here? There's your instinct again. There's grief. There's abundance. So you could be waking up, faith, impatient, release. So somebody's trying to release the facade in order to um, to be a part of their destiny or perfect their destiny or renew their destiny. But they're getting impatient here. They're feeling grief because their instinct is telling them something can be abundant. What's going on? What's the facade energy for you? Tell them about facade. A facade is about living in the bullshit, living lies, pretending. Tell them about facade. Higher fine. Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. <sighs> Somebody's spiritual beliefs could be a facade here. Sorry, but that's, that's, that's what it's giving. Or somebody's too afraid, so they live in a facade. But it's giving tradition here with this Ten of Pentacles. And they're too afraid to go into some type of spirituality. So they rather live in a facade here. When the whole time they're being called to do something with the Ace of Wands. Stand up and defend some type of position. Or somebody's very guarded here and they're restricting themselves. Or they're um, resisting. Some type of new opportunity, some type of new adventure. That's too many. I'm putting them all back. Give me facade. But I did address them all before. The Emperor, the Six of Pen the Six of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So somebody's intuition is telling them about a Queen of Wands energy. Whether that's somebody who look good, smell good, fine. Somebody who's aligned with your destiny. Somebody who is a leader. This could be somebody who fulfills your wishes here. This is somebody that you could be in a twin flame with. The burdens are required or needing to be put down. Okay. Somebody's trying to take charge of a facade here. I'm hearing it's gotten out of hand. And they, they want to get away from it. They want to retreat from it. They don't want to be a fucking part of it no more. Something to do with... Um, a friend, a childhood friend of the past. Six of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. They're the same energy come back though. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. It's about somebody standing up and defending the position in their destiny. But they're missing out because of some type of tradition. So they're sitting there and they're afraid of the mysteriousness. Do they're mis afraid of the spiritualityness due to tradition or religion or something? The way they come up, their background. So it's a facade, but somebody needs to take charge of the facade because it's a facade. It don't matter what you tell yourself. So make six of Pentacles, the Tower, the Eight of Wands. There could be a soulmate energy here. We can, we get many soulmates in a lifetime. Um, but somebody could be moving away from a soulmate. Or moving towards a soulmate. Moving towards somebody that you see as a soulmate. 
or somebody's taking charge of a, a facade in order to move towards a soulmate and balance out a situation after a a, a sudden sh or a shocking revelation with this tower card energy. Tell me about the tower. The tower blows some shit up. That's why I said when you get the tower, you force to either stay in the burning building or jump the fuck out. The tower is coming in to adjust. The tower is coming to rearrange endings. To force endings when people don't want to do it. That's what the tower is for. So it's like, okay. It's like, just say, just for this example. Say somebody's traditional. Or they're religious here and the spiritual scares them. So they don't listen to their intuition at all. Right? So then the tower comes in. And this building is where you stay comfortable at so you don't listen to your intuition and if you leave this building you got to follow your intuition right so what spirit comes through and do is strike the light you see how the building got struck with lightning next thing you know it catches on fire boom the fire is up there it's a readjustment of the crown but you see all these people diving out because it's only one two options either you stay in there and burn the fuck up or you jump out hmm so somebody's being forced to uh some, some type of ending or completion is being forced upon somebody. Somebody's being forced to put some type of burdens down. Something that they don't see is a burden, though. But it's definitely a burden that they're being forced to walk away from it. I feel like it's the emperor. And it's because it's, key, it's in the way of him offering love to the empress. Stipulations and shit like that. Eight of Cups. Yeah. Somebody's, the Eight of Cups is this. The tower's happening to clear our confusion. Where somebody's guarded and fighting off something that they need to be putting the work into because it's their destiny. But if you're traditional or religious, it might get in your way if your person's spiritual, okay? Gossip. Somebody been running their mouth. Talking. Funny thing about talking behind my back is it always get back to me. Mm, that's what he said. Now somebody's stressed out about the fact that they been gossiping. Because they, cause they got the truth or because justice has prevailed. And now motherfuckers stressed out about the gossip. Waiting to see what, what the gossip is to give it, get back around or something like that. Tell me about this justice. Or somebody's too afraid what people going to say about them. Somebody, this queen of pentacles could have been gossiping. But then you, some type of truth is coming out. But then you become enlightened about the Queen of Pentacles or whoever's gossiping. Five of Pentacles. So the gossiper don't want you to complete the cycle. They want you to leave it out in the cold. That's what somebody wants you to make a decision to leave something out in the cold. And then the only other thing there is you completing this cycle that keeps you from keeping your your twin flame, your pair, your match out. A miracle is happening here. I don't know who the gossiper is, but the gossiper is about to have problems because justice is here. Okay? Something's about to be victorious over. The gossiper won't be gossiping to no more. They're going to be tight-lipped is what Spirit said. They're going to be tight-lipped to see the King of Wands invest in his wish fulfillment. And that's going to be the Queen of Wands. And that's going to be something spiritual. And that's going to be the universe coming in to bring it all together. And there's the love starting. There's somebody there's somebody restricting themselves because of religious beliefs. And they're about to let that go. It's going to seem miraculous to everybody around them. But that's what it was supposed to be. Miracle. Mm-hmm. I do feel like this person did try to hold back for the longest, but they're getting into common waters. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, about to express some type of truth of bad emotions. Um, but I feel like this is throwing this person off balance. The more logical that they try to be, the more mis mentally conflicted they feel because they need to follow their intuition. That's what it's about. It ain't about, oh, I got to do with I, I, this because people going to talk about me or they going to judge me. Oh, I got to do this because of this. No, it's about what the Lord told you to do on your intuition. And he don't care about none of that. He don't give a fuck about none of that. You hear what I'm saying to you? High priestess. Your intuition say there's a service. There's something you're supposed to be uh, catering to. Something you're supposed to be giving time, effort, and um, support to. Yeah, the spirit, just I said, Lord, don't give a fuck about none of that. 
page of swords. The only thing he care about is what your intuition told you to do. What did your intuition tell you to do? What did your intuition tell you you got the tools to do? What did your intuition tell you to manifest? What did your intuition tell you to be strong and courageous to get done? Huh? What did your intuition tell you to conquer so that you can see the fruits of your labor? And what did Spirit say? He said you got to have some faith in this. And I feel like somebody haven't been having faith or they've been too afraid to follow intuition or the mysteriousness, the spirituality of it all, whatever the case is, they haven't provided some type of service here that I feel like they were called or asked to do. Nope, they haven't. Seven of Swords, the service. Whatever service that you were asked to provide or this person was, they haven't been doing it. They've been sabotaging it. But I feel like they're about to try to fix that because they do want to see that fruition. Seven of Swords. As well, somebody could have been doing you a disservice out here as well. Somebody that you realized and you moved away from because you realized that you're better off without this person. Yeah. So somebody was being disserviced as well as disservicing themselves. Okay. So the person who was doing you a disservice wanted you to be hurt. They wanted you to focus on the Ten of Swords instead of the Ace of Pentacles. But they must have forgot that the Ace of Pentacles is still birthed after the Ten of Swords, okay? So this is you coming in the calmer waters from that. But the service that <coughs> somebody um, sabotaged their self and they're now sitting in the heartbreak is um, it could, it's something to do with a twin flame situation here. Somebody was too guarded and wounded. They've been through a lot, but they was very guarded towards the twin flame emperor emperor situation. And it now needs to be transformed. But the person said their heartbreak because of it. Knight of Wands, the Star, the Queen of Cups. Because they went under judgment. When judgment come out, karma come and got their ass. Somebody could have got got because of this Queen of Cups. Or somebody was a player. Somebody was in and out non committal. When they should have been offering the Ace of Pentacles. And because of that, they're receiving judgment. And they're learning something with this Ace of Pentacles. And what's judgment, Spirit? Before we roll up out of here. It's gonna, judgment is going to force this person to follow their intuition and apologize. To move forward, to conquer. To, to move slow and steady to this um, contract. Because when it's written in the stars, it's written in the stars, baby. A contract is a contract. And not the last time I checked, people are bonded by contracts, especially when the Lord gave you one. I mean, I'm sure it's a way to screw yourself out of it, <clears throat> but I wouldn't want to, I mean, to each his own, but you wouldn't want to screw yourself out of it unless you don't realize or have the knowledge to wrap your mind around what's going on. You don't realize how much of how blessed you are that the Lord chose you. A lot of people won't. They'll find reasons to ignore the call. But some say a lot of people will. Right? Some people will be brave and lose everybody to do what the Lord told them to do. If that's what it takes. Check in for Libra. Current energy check in for Libra people. What is the message for Libra? Current energy check in for the Libras. What's the message? I 
isolation, renewal, perception. Okay. Could be some isolation taking place out here. Somebody could have discovered something that sent their ass in a straight isolation. Because in this isolation, there's a whole renewal process taking place of their perspective. Of the way they perceive things, the way they see things. Because they've now discovered something else. Somebody's going to want to be forgiven for some type of impartiality. Somebody's going to be forgiving themselves for constantly accepting <clears throat> things that are lower than they than they deserve here. Things that were outdated in their life, okay? Libra. Passion. Hmm. Could be some type of adventure, some type of ideas, some type of creativity, some type of love, interest, the gossip. Hmm. Somebody could be talking about you. Somebody who's interested in you, though, like talking about you in a good way. But we got also people who's talking about you possibly in a bad way. People that you released or let go of. Yeah, people who reached their terms. To the end of the road. The people that y'all reached the end of the road, but they can't let go still. People you released, they want you to live in a facade. Somebody who around you could be delusional or living in a facade and they got released so they're running their fucking mouth. Okay. On the other hand, I feel like a lot of people are looking at you or inspired by you at this time in some way, shape, and form. Some about passion, believer. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Could be an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a, a Virgo, Libra, Cusp. Okay, but there's some type of passion here, some type of idea here, and it could be like obsession. Somebody's obsessed here about putting the work into a path or a pathway. That's for somebody here, but somebody is um. There's some type of passion here that somebody sees. Excuse me. Or they begin to see. So yeah, somebody needs to, it's like a, a energy of taking charge or bossing up when it comes to a passion. Somebody's taking a leadership role when it comes to something that they're passionate about. This is something that you didn't used to. Uh, this is not something that this is something that you used to be afraid to take charge and boss up about. But something that's religious, spiritual, faith based that you were afraid here. It's the devil and the hierophant. That's like God and the devil sitting here next to each other. It's like you were passionate about somebody, but you considered it a forbidden fruit. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But your intuition was telling you to make a decision to choose this person because it was your person. But you just didn't feel right about it or something. Possibly because the Ten of Pentacles, some type of tradition here. This is giving Virgo. I feel like you truly wanted to invest in this person with equal give and take, but you just... The devil... You just feel like this person was like toxic or forbidden or devil energy in some way, shape, or form. But I don't feel like they were because the will of fortune is coming up with there. That's a mental confliction about one's destiny. But still, yet, there's a lot of love that somebody wants to express, but they hold back because they feel like this is a forbidden fruit or, some, or something like that. But I do feel like a truth is coming in. A shatter of a foundation 
is going to happen in some cases for some people to see the truth and for them to see it clearly. And at that point, it won't be no holding back. Somebody's going to rush towards them feelings. Talking about gossip. It could be people talking and running their mouth here. Ten of Wands. So you some type of gossip here when it comes to a Gemini or a water a Pisces Cancer Scorpio woman. Or that's this could be somebody somebody could want to apologize about some gossip. It's like cause the gossip is ten of wands, putting the burdens down. The burdens is the gossip in this case. This is somebody standing up and defending what people gotta say, people running their mouth, standing up and defending somebody that they're tired of hearing about. Because that's what their intuition told them to do. Yeah, so somebody's intuition is telling them to defend against some type of, type of gossip that they might be hearing about this Queen of Cups or a Gemini. Some, some type of friendship or somebody from the past is gossiping. Somebody that you're going to be walking away from. Somebody's running their fucking mouth. I don't know. Are you be, you receiving messages that people are talking about a destiny here between you and the Queen of Cups, or they're talking about the Queen of Cups, or they're talking about you taking a leap towards this Queen of Cups? People running their mouth truly because they're getting released and nothing else, but they can make it about what they want to make it. They're mad because you're releasing some type of facade here and you're no longer taking part in it. They're mad because you're making a decision to uh, re release some type of religious beliefs in order to reconcile your love with somebody. They're mad because you're following your intuition over what they want you to do. Let the bitches be mad. Let them talk. But they better be careful and they better tread lightly. Yeah, people mad with the release card clarified by the death. They mad that they didn't make the cut. They mad because your love in your heart belongs somewhere else to this empress that they wanted you to hold back from and continue to. But you're going to stop that, aren't you? Yep. If I rule the world, imagine that. Yep, because somebody's coming out of past disappointment. There's no longer focusing on the past because you had a moment to reflect or spirit sent you in the hangman so you can see things from another perspective when it comes to an empress or a past person and when it comes to a facade mm -hmm. he wanted you to see the, he wanted you to see a new perspective when it comes to somebody trying to bamboozle deceive or lie seven of swords <clears throat> seven of swords Yeah, somebody didn't want you to see something. Something was hidden, kept a secret. Something that was critical. Something that brought this shit to an ending. When you found out. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn. Could be an Aquarius. But I do feel like the stars, it was revealed to you. It was written, whatever happened was written in the stars. Things happened the way that they were supposed to. And I feel like a facade is about to shatter. Yeah, the truth came out about manifesting, having the tools you need and a brand new beginning. But I feel like it also came out about some type of facade. Yep, and then next thing you know, ten of swords to the facade. Once the truth happens, the, the facade ends. Because the truth will always set you free. And ain't no facade, excuse me, gonna transcend no truth. No. So I feel like something was a long time coming. But I do feel like somebody's about to get their wish fulfillment here. And spirit is shattering the facade in order to make that happen. In order to force somebody to choice movements and decisions to disconnect with a group or a person. In order, in order to apologize about not showing up the way that they should have. In order for being egotistical and leaving somebody out in the cold. The facade is like a bubble and it just got bursted.
second. Alright. Scorpio. Current energy check-in for the Scorpio people. What's the message? Current energy check-in for the Scorpio people. What's the message? What's the message? What's the message? For Scorpio. Growth, guilt, victim. Oh, somebody mad you're growing. Somebody mad about your growth, they want you feeling gu guilty about it. Because they want to sit in victim mode and they don't want to grow. Well, somebody's going to just have to accept, okay? Acceptance. Somebody's going to have to accept that you're growing and that you're going to grow without them. Somebody's going to have to accept that you're creating new adventures and they have to deal with their own insecurities. That's not your problem, okay? I do feel like you're growing and expanding and some people are not happy because they refuse to grow because they want to just keep playing victim. What do we got for Scorpio? Passion. And enlightenment. Enlightenment. And complacency. And gratitude. Yeah, see, it's the two energies going on here. See, grief. Somebody's sitting here feeling bad because you can't create shit where they will. They're going to have to accept it and play victim if that's what they got to do. But see, you've been you've been a place where somebody you don't belong here with this complacency energy. And you after your enlightenment, you don't want that no more. You want to be grateful. You want to be gratitude. You want to elevate. And somebody wants to try to keep you from doing that. Somebody wants you to stay places you don't belong. Why? Because they don't want to grow. Because they don't want to heal. Because they don't want to go in and do the work. So they feel like you should stay where they at. You shouldn't go nowhere. You should stay. You shouldn't get level up at all. You should just stay where you at. No, baby, we all should be out here growing and elevating and leveling the fuck up. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. It's about passion for the Scorpio people. I do feel like you care about this person, but you said your per your past your um. Your purpose, your path, the place you got to be. You know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, Scorpio woman or Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Um, I do feel like you care about this person, but there's some type of guidance or calling on your life here with the star energy. And you possibly have held yourself back for some time, but you don't want to do that anymore. You want to take your enlightenment. You want to be grateful. You want to stand in your truth. You want to be in alignment. Okay? But I do feel like you don't understand with this Eight of Swords why you got to defend your position or defend or protect your purpose. Like the way you have to protect it when it comes to people around you here who don't understand or people who are not elevating or who are getting left behind. I feel like you're very passionate about this, and I feel like it kind of hurts you or makes you feel a little lost as to why you got to defend your purpose against others who should seem seem like they should be happy for you. Ace of Swords. Page of Wands. There's that passion energy again. Yeah, there's something you, you're passionate about. You're manifesting. You got the tools to do it, but everybody's not happy for you. Some people want to keep you held back. Some people don't want to see you grow. Somebody you're going to be retreating or getting away from, healing from, because you feel you realize they, that's not where you belong. They're not going to be the type of people to elevate you, to make you feel good, to help you feel inspired. No. Could be a twin flame energy, or I feel like you could be getting something else, some type of new house. But there is somebody who doesn't want to see you grow. You could be you, you could be going on this could be a house here. It's something about stability. Following your path and leading you to stability. Some type of enlightenment here. Strength card. It's about you being strong, courageous, and confident moving forward, even if that means leaving people behind with the chariot. Not looking back. Because you know your clarity, you know your truth. Are you sad or disappointed about leaving connections, people? 
relationships yeah you said about that but you have to be strong you have to be courageous you got to keep on moving why because you got some type of enlightenment you got some type of purpose and how you, you can't do nothing with that if you keep staying places where you don't belong so you're moving along you're not letting people stop you this time by their sob stories and they trying to make you scared and make you feel bad yeah secretly a motherfucker wants you to stay hard hurt because that means you're going to walk, if you don't, you're going to walk away, you're going to elevate, you're going to grow, and then you're going to get out of places where you don't belong, and Lord forbid it. So people will rather hurt you secretly to try to keep you in the same spot than, than, than be happy that you grew. So somebody could be secretly doing something to you so that you don't elevate. Could be a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody could be secretly the moon to the so they secretly bringing hurt towards you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody from the past or a past life. Somebody, yep, this is somebody from the past or the past life. It's somebody that you branched off from and decided you was better off on your own from. What they do, spirit? What's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, this is somebody that you're moving away from. Okay, and from his perspective, he'd like you to be stagnated or stuck with the hangman energy. He wants you to stay somewhere you don't belong. So that just so you can appease him or keep him company. What? Tell me about complacency. This is somebody who's secretly doing something to try to keep you in a place where you don't belong because secretly they don't want to miss out on you and they want to hold you back. But it's all a secret because they got to pretend to be your friend and your face to pretend they support you. But I do feel like you're going to be receiving some type of messages about the person who's deceiving you. Seven of Swords could be a Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, because you're an empress and you're growing, elevating, abundance. And people don't want to see that. Your finances is being healed and growing and being balanced out. And people sitting over there struggling. And they don't want to see you doing good. And they got to sit back and be somewhere that they chose to be. So they want to try to choose for you. No, bitch, back up. Page of Wands. Whoever this is is going to be called out. And you ain't going to be dealing with them no more. To be a water sign. Pisces can't. Oh, well. There's. The King of Cups. And somebody you got love for. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. It's somebody that you've seen as a Ten of Cups at some point. But then you get some type of truth. Or oh, this is somebody who sees you as a Ten of Cups but haven't been showing you. Somebody's going to express their feelings to you at the last minute because they don't want to be left out in the cold. Because they see you taking charge of your future and moving the fuck on. And that, they realize you're really, you ready to leave any fucking body behind in order to be grateful for your gratitude. Tell me about gratitude for people to appreciate you. Yeah, some type of cycle is being completed here. Something's complete. It's a completion of a cycle. Somebody could be pregnant here. Yeah, the completion of the cycle is that somebody decided to walk away from fear. And that's what completes the cycle here. Because once they walk away from fear, they can be grateful. So I feel like you could have been leading by example. You could have been lighting up the way or showing somebody the way here. Emotionally. or You could have just been showing somebody the way. Showing somebody on how to take charge and emotion. How to take charge and some type of growth and investment. I feel like ultimately this person cares. This is why they want to hold you back. But it's kind of delusional to care about somebody and want to hold them back. Like you want to see your person you care about grow and get reach their furthest potential. But this person is petty and pessimistic. You got to watch out for them. It's one of those tit for tat ass persons. It's going to be somebody you share a real spiritual connection with. I feel like spirit is about to do something in your favor here because your your faith 
and you're following your your intuition and your purpose is paying off for you like i said everybody ain't gonna be happy yeah people who are not aware who are an illusion who are confused those people won't will be appreciative of your gift or whatever you're receiving here those people will be jealous and mad and hateful ready to fight those people will be people that you will be cutting ties with and you might not know it just yet but as soon as they show you a little sign of jealousy or evil or are oh, you really a hater you're gonna get them the fuck up out of here bless you and that's how that's gonna go Sagittarius planets. Excuse me. All right, current energy check in for the Sagittarius people. Excuse me, what's the message? For the Sagittarius people. What does Sagittarius need to know in this current energy check in? Ooh. Think impartiality and quest. Somebody could have been having a um, somebody could have been having an air where they play victim and they play games due to rejection. Rejection made them feel not good enough, but I do feel like somebody's going to discover some type of self worth and they're going to move. Well, they're gonna discover self worth, but then they're gonna they're gonna discover self worth, start to bark upon a journey, or realize that there's a journey that they need to bark upon, but they're still impartial about it. They realize their intuition is telling them one thing, but their insecurities are telling them another. So I don't know who that's for, or what that's about. Sagittarius wisdom completion. Abundance, yeah. Somebody, it's about somebody completing a cycle where insecurities are holding you back from some type of abundance. And it's not about insecurities, it's about using your knowledge and your wisdom. Victim. Somebody don't want to be rejected. That's what it's all about. They're afraid of being rejected. So there's somebody needs, it's like a victim though. I'm 
don't know if I'm talking about it. Wisdom. Somebody's got a victim mentality. It's about wisdom. So somebody has the wisdom. Could be a uh, Sagittarius masculine, Leo Sagittarius, or I mean, um, Leo Sagittarius or Aries. Somebody knows, has wisdom that they know they need to take charge of. They received it via intuition. It could be about bringing balance into a connection here or a reconciliation. But with this three and this two, it's a five of cups. Somebody's constantly looking back to the past from when they got deceived or rejected. And they're in victim mode for that. So even though they're being enlightened and, and they have the wisdom and the knowledge on what to do, they're sabotaged. They're completely sabotaging it. Seven of Swords. And that's where the insecurities kick in. Mm -hmm. That's where the victim mentality comes in. Somebody's afraid to be abandoned. So they're sabotaging the whole thing. Because they feel like this Queen of Pentacles, let me see, this Queen of Cups, will just abandon them. But I don't feel like they got it right because the hangman is here down here. I feel like this person is about to go into a perspective, a, a reflection period so that they can see things different. Then they'll be rushing towards their intuition, realizing they retreated from some type of confusion and make them play victim when they had the wisdom they needed all this time. So once they gain that new perspective here, I feel like they will take charge. What happens after the perspective spirit? Because the perspective brings in the queen of cups and the, yeah. Yep. Once they get that perspective change, eight of wands, they start moving right towards this empress energy. Towards some type of contract. Towards some type of wish fulfillment with the queen of cups. Or some, some type of heart's purpose. Completion. Yeah, somebody's working on completing a cycle. And I feel like they needed an extraterrestrial push. <laughs> I say that because I don't feel like, I feel like they kept giving into their insecurities and playing victim. But then when the universe came through with this tower, they was forced to jump out that window of that burning building. So there's no choice but to complete. There's no choice but to have a transformation. There's no choice but to bring in new energy. There's no choice but to realize you got all the tools you need to show up for this happiness. Something happens. There's no choice but to be an emperor taking charge of your brand new beginning, baby. There's no choice but to be victorious. Hmm. It all works out for somebody, but the universe has to damn near push their ass off the edge. Abundance. See, it's kind of like this lady looking down, but she really looks like she's trying to fish. She's trying to fish for a coin. But she see how she's looking down, look like she's peeking over the edge, just like the universe came up behind her and pushed her ass in order to get her to fall into that abundance, because other than that, she wouldn't do it. Other than that, she sit there in victim mentality, playing victim, instead of using the knowledge and the wisdom that the universe gave her. Okay? Sagittarius woman, I do feel like somebody wants abundance with you. I feel like somebody wants to move towards you and apologize. They want to make choices, movements, and decisions to express some love because they don't want to miss out on you. They see you as wish fulfillments. They've been scared for a very long time. This could be a Capricorn. It could also be a Gemini. Okay, but it could be anybody. Page of Cups. This is like exciting information. Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with this Queen of Pentacles. Could be feminine on feminine. Somebody makes a decision to apologize about stagnation, about disappointment from the past, about the time where they played victim. Somebody who didn't feel good enough. Somebody who was mentally conflicted but has made it past that. They've overcome that chariot energy. But I do feel like they did disappoint you in the past, whoever this person is. And I do feel like they're coming back to you. I do feel like they're bringing you something. Somebody, whoever goes back somewhere is going to bring somebody something. It's, it's a shift coming in. 
they're bringing you something because the table's turned. Because I do feel like this person was an illusion that you was forced to cut out because they wanted to play victim or be insecure, be impulsive, be, you know, uh, emotionally unavailable. But the shift that took place here with the Sagittarius temperance energy, will of Fort, I mean, not temperance, will of fortune energy, it's forced to shift. It forced the tables to turn. And now this person is forced to want to put the work into a lover's connection or forced to want to put the work into this connection. Could be a Gemini. Somebody goes from protecting themselves from this connection to defending the hell out of it. Okay? Somebody goes from playing victim to being wise and using their wisdom, getting their wits about them. Yeah. Somebody goes from want being in a in facing an ending you have to retreat or you true retreating and they facing the ending to coming in here and expressing some type of love they went from mentally conflicted and afraid to putting the burdens down so they can get into common waters somebody was struggling with their victim mentality tell me about the victim yeah they played victim because they had anxiety about following their intuition but it's like uh they was left with no choice some way. In some way, shape, or form. See, they, they was playing victim because whatever their intuition was telling them to do, this person was stressed out about it and didn't feel like it was the best option. High priestess, this person doubted their intuition. Their, high, their intuition was leading them to a solid brand new beginning, but this person doubted it. Temperance. But the universe stepped in and practically forced this person over that edge. And now they see Mm -hmm. they couldn't see it first because they was too afraid to find out but after so long the sun come out and shine the universe forced them to somehow to understand the sea non source yeah somebody was made aware that healing was supposed to take place here that they were stressed out for nothing that they were afraid to move on for nothing. Now they go from being afraid to move on to not wanting to miss out on this passionate new beginning. Somebody don't want to be the victim no more. Somebody been healing up their victim ways. This is somebody who used to play victim a lot. Or they been playing victim a lot or they have and now they want to use wisdom. Instead of being impulsive. Or somebody did play victim because they was emotionally unavailable and still dealing with hurt. Whereas now and I feel like they've done... They leveled up in some way, shape, or form for it to go from victimization to wisdom. Okay, something done changed with them. Could have been the level of confidence for some people is what I'm hearing. Some people just lack the confidence that they needed to step up to the plate. Is what Spirit said. Alright, next is the Capricorn people. Energy check in for the Capricorn people. What's the energy check in? Messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Energy check in for the Capricorn 
people. What's the message? Oh, this one stayed out. Expansion. But I'm going to stick it back in there because I ain't pulling them like that. If something could be expanding or growing for you, despond this. This is about somebody. It's about you feel growing and maybe somebody around you not feeling good enough. Okay, so they're not as happy about your growth. Or somebody's needing to have faith because they're not feeling good enough for abundance. Yeah, some type of insecurity surrounding around, some type of renewal. Somebody's growing impatient here. When it comes to a release or a renewal, and it's due to insecurities, somebody's feeling insecure or not good enough about something. I don't know what's going on here. What we got for Capricorn? Miracle. Okay. Dissipating. Some type of miracle is being inter in intervened is what I'm hearing. Yeah, to help you to help you or somebody around you with wisdom so that they can stop doing the same old shit and expecting a different outcome. So that balance can be restored. I feel like somebody's gonna go into isolation for a minute because they in a place where they don't belong. And they're impartial about it. So it's like the spirit is trying to move somebody away from here. But they're impartial because they kind of like living the facade. But they kind of want to complete it. They kind of want to be happy. But then they kind of want to play victim. They kind of want to accept it. But they kind of want to recover it. But it's like games being played. I don't know what's going on. Somebody don't know what they want. And they straddle in the fence. They back and forth here. Okay. So I don't know what's going on. Let's see what's going on with this energy. Tell me about a miracle here. For the Capricorn people. Somebody just keeps repeating the same old shit. And so the universe is coming down to help them with something. Some about miracle. The Hierophants, the Three of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Something when it comes to a destiny. Somebody's been afraid or scared, so they left something out in the cold, or they're afraid or scared of being left out in the cold, which is why they have anxiety when it comes to moving towards commitment or investing in commitment. But I feel like the problem with that is that this is like something that was destined to happen. Something that was spiritually guided in divine timing. Okay? The three of wands here. Something about growth in the future or expansion in the future. Five of swords. Somebody's been mentally conflicted about uh Somebody's been mentally conflicted about um, a spiritual, some type of divine timing, divine order, divinely guided something. It's a miracle. That's why I, the miracle is that the higher finding the will of fortune here. The miracle is that this is some type of spiritual connection that was destined and written in the stars for future growth and expansion. And somebody's mentally conflicted about that. And because they're mentally conflicted about that, they're showing up as the Knight of Wands. They're showing up as non-committal, um, non-reliable, flighty, a runner. They're very guarded, feeling like they need to protect themselves from a miracle that Spirit gave them. Hmm. Somebody's protecting themselves from the Ten of Cups. Or are they protecting the Ten of Cups from something? Somebody's just not sure if that's the right thing to do. They're still mentally conflicted about a miracle. 
some something spiritual taking place. So what's the dissipating? Somebody may be guarding their self from a miracle that's taking place. Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to cut out. Cut out a reconciliation that they got wind of in a brand new beginning. Somebody's been made aware of a brand new beginning and now another motherfucker wants to fight it off because they want you to keep doing the same old thing that don't get no fucking results. But what the next motherfucker want to do is work on this twin flame. What they were guided to do, called to do, was being pulling on that spirit. But the other motherfucker is fighting them off. Not wanting them to do it. Wanting them to stay stuck and stagnated. Uh-oh. Hey man, yeah, this person wants to want you. It's somebody who wants to overcome and conquer their destiny. And then there's a motherfucker, another motherfucker who wants you to stay trapped in abandonment and lack mentality so you don't do shit. But I do feel like spirit is coming through here with some wisdom. See, there's, and this is why somebody's about to have anxiety because spirit is about to help you out the situation. Little do this person know they're about to end up single anyway. Something about wisdom. Yep, spirit about to show this person that they got the tools they need to manifest or give it to them. Spirit is about to give this person some knowledge that gives that puts them in the energy to look back and reflect and put burdens down. Tell me about the stress that this person is under right here. I feel like that's important. Whoever this is trying to keep you stuck is stressing. Because I don't feel like it's working. Yeah, seven of wands. Somebody's trying to defend their position, trying to stand up, trying to fight. To the death of them is what I'm hearing. Could be a fire sign. Leo Sagittarius or Aries. Could be a Libra. But somebody is really defending and fighting to the death of them. Because they do not want you to be courageous. They do not, if they don't want, they feel like... If you just stay hurt, then you can miss out on the opportunity. And then you could just stay doing the same old thing. But Spirit, how does staying doing the same old thing benefit this person? is resources it's resources it's not even about love for this person this is about resources but spirit is coming on through with some knowledge with some wisdom to help this person put the burdens down ten of wands to help them reflect and look back and understand they do have all the tools they need to reach out for this brand new beginning and i feel like that person will reach but this other person will continue to try to stop them still but i feel like that's why they stressed out because whatever they're doing is not working the person is still retreating and they're keeping it on the hush. But I feel like the person that they're trying to hide from knows that you're trying to get away from them. They know. And this is why they got anxiety. A motherfucker know a motherfucker trying to sneak away. A motherfucker know they realize they got the tools and now they're about to try to take a leap of faith towards something else or take a, something that they love to do, some type of brand new opportunity. But it results in retreating. And that's what this, that's what this other person don't want. See, they enlightened. They know what the fuck's going on, too. They ain't dumb, even though they play it. Yeah, they feel like you're trying to walk away, and they feel like they got to find a way to block it. Good luck, bitches. Trying to stop divinity. Yeah. Balance is about to be restored here, and the devil is about to be shot down. Yeah. Because there's been some type of toxic energy here. Trying to fight, trying to compete, trying to keep this balance from happening. But there's nothing they can do. Their hands are tied. Spirit is in control. 
Yeah, Ten of Swords reverse. I feel like the ending already took place. A person's already single. Page of Cups. Exciting messages are already coming in. Yeah, the tower is already dismantled this shit. For somebody to be victorious. For them to celebrate. In the past, whoever this is from the past trying to keep, keep the balance and keep the the imbalance happening they about to, they, they they're finding out they're finding out that the universe is stepping in their hands are tied spirit said what the fuck you said yeah somebody was trying to confuse a love situation and spirit said what the fuck you said ain't it tempers coming in spirit said what the fuck you said a connection must go on a twin flame must go on alignment must happen Motherfuckers getting on that same perspective as spirit and closing that cycle moving. Clear away from this motherfucker deceiver. Sorry, you lost. People be pressed, pressed, pressed. So whoever's been afraid or mentally conflicted about doing what their destiny told them to do, I feel like that's about to clear out. And I feel like motherfuckers only mentally confessed mentally conflicted because they got people all up in their ear. Not letting them breathe, thinking for them, speaking for them, acting for them. Like, bitch, bag bad and give me 50 feet. Damn. I'm trying to hear what spirit is saying. And see, that's what people end up going in isolation. The spirit will separate you from everybody so that you can hear him. And he will. Aquarius people. Energy check in for Aquarius. What's the message? What's the message for the Aquarius people on the energy check in? What's the message we have for Aquarius? What's the energy check in message? Partiality, passion, rejection, instinct, perception, confusion, release. So your intuition is letting you know that somebody has an artist or somebody when it comes to you. Somebody's intuition is letting them know that somebody's gained a new perspective when they, from when they was confused because the confusion has been released. Not only that, this person has guilt and wants to be forgiven so that they can find balance and expand or grow with you. But you're impartial. You're impartial because part of you feels passionate about this person and part of you want to reject them. That's what that, that's what that is. We got for Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Joy and patience. It's like you got, it's like bittersweeter, mixed feelings when it comes to this person. Mystism. Something's not being revealed. There's something still below the surface right now, and you're being impatient with it. Or something that you can't see still, and you're getting impatient about it because you just want to be happy. And something about expansion or growth that you want to see. Or something about balance. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Let's move out this joy energy. For Aquarius. Something about 
joy. Somebody's name could be Joy or Joey. There's definitely a um, some type of celebration because of an overcoming. There's definitely a reason to celebrate. The joy is people celebrating happy because good news came in with this page of cups. Good news comes in because something, it's like ops, competition, people fighting, or negativity has been blocked. Some negativity was stagnated, it's been blocked, it's been cut out. You've been able to remove it or walk away from it. Or especially if it comes to your your living situation. Somebody's been fighting off something when it comes to their living situation. They've been fighting. So I don't know what, what you're fighting when it comes to a living situation. But I do feel like you're going to overcome. Or you're going to just end up um, moving all together. If you end up moving, it's because you realize that this place is just going to keep causing you problems. Okay? But... I do feel like in the end, you're set up to be happy, to overcome, to celebrate. Mm, excuse me. Somebody's walking away from a relationship with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Pisces. You could have blocked this person, too. Or this person blocked you and you waiting to hear from them. But you got tired of waiting and you putting the burdens down and moving on. You said, fuck you and waiting on your communication. I'm out of here. Because the longer you wait, the more time you ended up reflecting on the inside of you. And you realize you didn't need this communication at all. Not only that, you was getting impatient waiting on it. You want it, you want it and you want it now. Uh -huh. Yeah, so now you started to defend yourself, your energy, your efforts, and hold back from this person. And next thing you know, I feel like you'll receive communication. Are you holding back, waiting to receive communication? If you're holding back, waiting to receive communication from this person, you're growing impatient. And if you grew impatient on waiting on this commercial person in their communication, you stop waiting. You moved away, moved around, and then you receive it. Impatience. Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody, this is where it actually happens. There was a stay. It's about you getting in your power. There was. It was a stagnation. And you grew impatient, waiting on somebody to contact you, waiting on somebody to clear up this, waiting on somebody to clear down this, waiting on the burdens to go down. But then you just grew impatient, and you got in this power of the Queen of Wands, like, fuck this. I deserve this. I know how to get what I deserve. I'm going to go get it. Instead of waiting around you. Hmm. That's, that, that's what made an enlightenment. Because the, all of that happened for a reason. Because this waiting was only to keep you stagnated. So that you can become enlightened about how important standing in your power was for you. Okay? At first you wasn't ever looking at it like, oh, well, let me stand in my power and I'll get what I won't know. You was waiting around and you realized that waiting around didn't get you nothing. Standing in your power gets you what you need. Right? Commanding your respect gets you what you need. Mm -hmm. and then you receive some type of enlightenment, enlightenment. And we got the emperor. Somebody takes charge. Somebody makes you aware of a fight, a arguing, some competition, some betrayal, some deceit. Five of wands, five of swords. Some betrayal, some competition. And somebody tells you about a past situation. Some type of big fight happening that, uh, uh, with somebody's ex. Whom they blocked now. Yeah, they're going to tell you about a ten of swords that happened with a possible uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ace of swords. Ace of Swords tells, says this person is telling the truth. 
about being single because yeah the tower came in and fucked their whole foundation up they ain't got no choice <laughs> they've retreated and they're working on the balance you the messages that you receive from this person will be true okay they're still healing but they're still telling the truth and they're honest when they say they want to get on the same page but you might not want to get on the same page yeah, after all, you got impatient waiting on this communication and gave the fuck up and started saying, I'll go get my shit elsewhere. Yeah. But underneath, yeah, what's they say? Below the surface, there's something, this person's coming. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aquarius. Somebody may be feeling left out in the cold, not knowing if you want to accept this love or not. Somebody secretly regrets some type of decision that they made. And now they want to make choices, movements, and decisions to bring in the balance here. But I feel like it's all mysterious because it's coming up under mysticism. I feel like this person ain't saying nothing. They secretly, yeah, it's like they suffering in silence or they're keeping it to themselves. Hush, they're keeping it real quiet. They still want to be victorious in, this, in it, victorious in this connection, but they're keeping it quiet. They receiving judgment, but they keeping it quiet too. Somebody don't want the empress to know that they went through judgment, but intuitively she already knows she's connected to this person spiritually and intuitively. Are you serious? This person went under judgment for toxic behaviors, toxic ways of moving, or even allowing fear to be greater than their faith. But I do feel like they're transformed, new, and improved with all these. These four major arcanas out of four clarifiers. There's definitely a major shift taking place here in a twin flame connection. And I feel like it's in a... Um, I feel like it's something to do with a new beginning. I feel like it's about people following their intuition to where they're supposed to be. And it makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Expansion. It brings in some type of growth or I'm hearing evolution. Page of Pentacles, new opportunities, raises, elevations of emotion, elevation of emotions, contracts, commitments. Overall, somebody wants to grow and they don't want to miss out on you. So they're going to come in with some solid love offer. Small, but solid. Because it's about not missing out. Not letting this cycle close without them being inside of it. The cycle. Okay. Yeah, somebody's got anxiety about you, Aquarius, or you anxiety about them. Somebody's got anxiety about this leap of faith that they need to take after an ending. Okay. There's a Aquarius or air sign possibly working towards moving. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is air on air right here. So I don't know if the Aquarius masculine. I don't know if it's which one is Aquarius, but this is air on air. I don't know who's moving toward who, but it, her back is turned, and the lines are headed her way. So I don't know if the masculine is taking charge of an investment after a long term coming, or the feminine is. Somebody's moving towards somebody. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Long day without you, my friend. I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. This is people going from single, healing up a connection that turns into a commitment. But it was already spiritual and written in the stars. The Aquarius got anxiety about it because it requires a leap of faith and they just don't know how it's going to go. Because it's mysterious, but it's, it's because of mysticism. But it's expansion, it's growth. Follow your intuition and you're going to be just fine. I'm sure about that. You should be sure about that by now. When has your intuition ever led you astray? Never. And going against your intuition led you astray? Plenty of times. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we figured that out. I'm glad we had this conversation. I've always been, I've never been led astray by listening to my intuition, but I've been led astray by ignoring and refusing to listen to my intuition or going against it because I thought I was tripping. Been there. Done both of those. I'm just saying. Follow your intuition.
Last but not least, Pisces, people. Energy, current energy check-in for the Pisces, people. What's the message? Current energy check-in for the Pisces, people. What's the message? The Pisces need to know what they need to hear. What's the current energies? Checking in for the Pisces, people. What's the message? Gossip, isolation, perseverance. Ah, so people talking. People talking. Because you done cut them off or isolated from them. Or people talking because you're persevering. From some type of trickery that they probably sent you. People are being forced. People are about to be forced to accept the fact that you got some type of wisdom. And they just ain't feeling good enough. And because they ain't feeling good enough, they in some type of guilt. Somebody's about to yeah. eat your words is what I'm hearing. Yeah, people running their mouth about your perseverance, about your disappearance, about your growth. People who's feeling rejected by you. People you cut off. People you no longer making room for due to your own self-worth. Yeah, they out running their mouth. Well, what's new? Don't take a motherfucking member. Mm-hmm. And passy. People want you to look at that. That's about going down a path, but it's a dead end. You got to figure out a new way to go. Yeah, somebody mad. Because trying to fuck with you and your self-worth is a dead motherfucking end, bitches. Yeah. Because your faith. What? Look, you got faith and you got a motherfucker playing victim. Oh, okay. Playing victim, that shit ain't going to ruin me. I'm the only one that let, I let out do me. Bitch, you better listen to little baby. That's what it look. It's bittersweet. Yeah. It's bittersweet for somebody. What's the sweetness about it? I know they're hella bitter. The sweet, it could be bitter for them and sweet for you. Okay, because somebody's feeling rejected. Or somebody wanted to reject you, re reject something for you. Somebody wanted you to go down a dead end. Or somebody wanted you to be at a dead end, but they're feeling bittersweet because I feel like your self-worth, it's something about your self-worth that took you out of situations or made it different. What's this rejection energy? Somebody could be blocked at a dead end because they won't look into their self-worth. They won't go sit in the chair of self-worth. Instead, they just stay afraid of rejection. Or somebody's afraid of rejection here. And that's why they keep experiencing dead ends. Talking about rejection. Yeah, somebody's guarded and protected here. Somebody's got the guard up protecting the shit out of themselves because they're afraid of rejection because if they really be honest they got some truth that they want to tell to you they got some messages some honesty for your ass about not wanting to miss out on you but they too afraid that you're gonna reject them knight of swords justice tell me something i don't know is what i heard yeah this could be uh taurus virgo capricorn Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I feel like this person could have been cold to you with the uh, the King of Swords coming out. Yeah, this person is mentally conflicted about the love they feel for you and all your inspiredness and all your self-worth and how you carry it. But they're afraid you're going to reject them. They're afraid you're going to walk away from them. So they'd rather not say shit. Oh, well. That's on them, ain't it? <laughs> I'm not the king of swords. So if there's a Libra Aquarius, Gemini could be going through a complete, the whole house. The whole house is coming down with the tower energy. Something's catching fire and they're forced to jump. This is somebody who needs, who's being confident and courageous enough to speak some type of truth to you. King of Pentacles.
Yeah, this King of Pentacles is here sitting here trying to gain his composure and his balance from an ending that took place with him, but still feeling the love for you, still wanting to have to tell the truth and tell you that he loves you, getting the karma waters, but he still got this five of cups attached, which means he still won't say nothing. Whoever these people are, they ain't saying shit because they too scared to be rejected when they need to be looking at their self-worth. This could be you or this is somebody around you. Self-worth. Or somebody looks how you carry yourself and self worth or something. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. And I feel like you got your self worth going for you, Pisces. Okay, you're standing in your power. You're in this Empress energy. You realize you're abundant and worthy. And this person is sitting in the energy of feeling not good enough or afraid to be rejected. See, that don't go hand in hand. It is a bitter and a sweet, but they're not going to be able to meet you. They're not going to be able to step up to an empress with that energy they're just not okay so this person yeah i feel like you and for some of you y'all just cut somebody off y'all rejected somebody because you're finding the balance from hurt that they caused you you're inspired to take your own route or do your own thing you're starting fresh away from confusion okay other than that somebody's sitting here afraid to tell you something because they don't want to be rejected because they realize you're sitting on fleek and your self-worth. And this is somebody that hurt you. And now you're sitting in this self-worth energy. They feel like you might reject them. But they do want to find the balance. And they do feel passionate about you. They don't have to take a leap of faith through this confusion. Somebody's afraid. Or they're looking at a facade. Or they're confused. Or they lack a perspective that they need here. Pay the swords. Having faith with the higher prime. It's about spirit. It's about the Lord. It's about somebody being stagnated in their spirituality or being stagnated in what the Lord told them to do. Yeah, they feel like this person's going to gain some type of information and they're going to put them burdens down. And realize that because of past disappointments, they've been sabotaging something abundant. And Passy, without any, it might be too late. Sickness and Passy is going away. Yeah. Okay, so for some of y'all, this could have been somebody who dealt with somebody else. Queen of Pentacles. They try to go another direction, but they realize it was a dead end. It was no way out. There's some, somebody's fool. They're coming back, forced to take a leap of faith towards you. Forced to look back on how things were played out. Forced to realize that the person, somebody took your ass down a dead end in an illusion. Instead of taking you in a truthful way with your brand new pentacles. So somebody got tricked or bamboozled here. And they're going to be coming back to you. Mm-hmm. Somebody that possibly ended the, the situation ended because they left you out in the cold. And they got left out in the cold by this queen of pentacles. By somebody who took their ass down the dead end and left them. Mm-hmm. Now they trying to come back and reconcile a twin flame, reconcile a relationship. This is somebody who rejected you, but you sitting in the energy of major self-worth now. This is somebody whose intuition is telling them to offer you love, but they scared in the motherfucker of the results of what might happen trying to move your way. Yep, but they'll be coming. At some point, their intuition told them. Either that or they end up in a bad position for not listening to it. Talking about bittersweet. Yeah, bittersweet because it's sweet that they're dealing with an empress or with some self-worth, but it's bitter because somebody made decisions that put their ass under judgment. And what did judgment do, Spirit? Mm -hmm. Got their asses. Seven of Swords for sabotage. And the Emperor went under judgment. The, the universe put his ass under judgment for betraying you with another woman. Or for betraying you, period, because you standing in your power. Or for being defensive and guarded towards somebody who was a leader. Hmm. So this person will be apologizing at some point when they get over this rejection stage. When they heal up a little bit, it took, it's going to take their ass a while because they got to conquer this confusion. But somebody's going to come back here. Somebody that you got a contract with. I feel like they're a little scurry right now. But I don't think you give a fuck because the way you sitting up in self-worth right here with the Empress, baby, you doing your thing. If they ain't stopping your shine, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's going to take their ass a while to come in here with this new energy and this reconciliation. But like I said, you focused on the future and decisions you're going to make that's going to make you happy. Baby, you ain't worried about this. You, It's like you already know you're going to be victorious in this. You, It's like you. there's the energy of knowing you're going to be victorious in this twin flame situation. As soon as this masculine energy takes charge of his fears. It's like you, I'm already knowing. You know how people are like, I'm already knowing. It's giving that. It's giving, I'm already knowing. Well, I'm getting to that this person could have tried to make you feel bad about yourself, okay, which is another reason why bittersweet is here, that's what I'm getting, that you know how people don't feel good, so they feel like rejection, or they feel an energy of rejection, or not good enough, or like, so they try to knock people down a couple of notches, so that they can feel like they on the same level, this person could have did that to you, which is another reason why they wanted a judgment, Okay. You would have been forced to walk away from this person because the building caught on fire. Mm -hmm. They could have rejected you. And now they're forced to see you sitting in your self-worth, but they can't get through. They're blocked. Impassy, dead end. Turn around and go back the other way. Because back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot you all. Let me Mac Jones effect, bitch. Back up off of me. Roach repellent. Let me spray it. Okay. So, but that's for somebody. And that's what I got for everybody. And thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. So the channel can grow and the video can, uh, you know, explore its way out there to other people. <laughs> Thank y'all. Namaste and be blessed.